Welcome back to Ask the Imam Show. This is Gary Payne, Mohammed al -Masri. Thank you for coming again. Appreciate it. President of the American Islam. My we were pleasure. talking and discussing about God um, b previously before. And you know, I was thinking about this. Um, there's a lot of people, seven billion people on this earth, who don't believe in God and can pretty much stand up their arguments pretty strong and aggressively, scientifically, or maybe more personal sometimes. But what is your view on this? Yeah, well, since the beginning of time, people wrestled with uh, proving the existence of God uh, because they cannot see God, they cannot hear God, so they assume God doesn't exist. There are a lot of things that we cannot see and cannot hear, but they exist. And, you know, we all carry cell phones. We can't see the connection, uh, the waves that carry the signal to our device but we know they exist because our device can pick up that signal. Now, we don't have a device to pick up the presence of God, to prove that God exists. Uh, but we are at the beginning of our scientific journey in realizing what's out there, what's really between the space, between me and you, what occupies this space. There are many things that are there that throughout history people ac accepted the idea that there's nothing. Then they accepted there's air because they can breathe it. Now they accept there is all kinds of wavelengths of light and, and you know, invisible light, and, but they don't see it. Now we have to keep an open mind that uh, there could be, but we are not able to detect the presence of God. But there are clues all around us that tell us that we could not have existed, you know, without God. For example, um, people know now that there are billions of stars. Uh, so our Earth is part of the solar system. The sun is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which has probably over 200 billion stars like our sun with their own planets around them. The Milky Way is part of a universe that has probably 100 to 200 billion galaxies like the Milky Way. And until recently, scientists believed that there's only one universe. Now there are many theories that there's a multiverse. There are multiple universes out there. In order for the uh, actually the Big Bang and for the theory of relativity to work, you must have multiple universes. Guess what? In the Quran, the first verse, God says, Praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds or the universes. Right? Always speaking that it's not just one world and it's not just one universe. And scientists always thought that there must be other life out there. They said, if our solar system has many planets and Earth is uh, you know, inhabited by human beings, how many similar Earth are out there you know, that are at equal distance from their sun and has the right size like our Earth. And Carl Sagan, uh, a few decades ago, predicted that before the end of the century we would have, you know, uh, discovered other worlds. And here we are, uh, you know, 30, 40 years later, and we don't have any evidence of life anywhere else, uh, that this planet is unique. So in this world, in this universe, there is, you know, at least an octillion, which is a number followed by 24 zeros, planets. The scientists estimate in all of these hundreds of billions of galaxies that have hundreds of billions of stars, when you multiply the numbers, you're going to get to a huge number a number followed by 24 zeros. And they estimate at least one in a thousand they should have a planet, okay, that is like Earth, cl 
close to, the, to its sun and the size of the Earth that would sustain life. And that is septillion planets like Earth. If there are septillion planets like Earth out there, until now we have no evidence there is any such life. Uh, when you look at the facts, you find that Earth is quite unique. Okay. Okay. For it to happen, it's really very difficult. So many factors have to come together for Earth to exist. Okay. For example, when the Big Bang happened, one millionth of a second after the beginning, okay, everything had to be right in place for all of these galaxies and all of these stars to happen. If anything went wrong back then, nothing would, we wouldn't exist. Our Earth wouldn't exist. The solar system wouldn't exist. The galaxy wouldn't exist. Nothing would exist. The universe wouldn't exist. Okay? Okay. And so we say, well, who managed? Who was in charge? Who controlled that process in the very beginning? In the one millionth of a second at the beginning of the Big Bang? We say that's God. God, in Islam we say, he says, kun fayakun, be, and it is. It's a, a split second, it's a millionth of a second that as soon as God gives the command, it happens. And it happens and doesn't, you know, make a mistake. So for us to exist here, everything had to happen right since the beginning of the galaxy till now. Because if anything went wrong, we wouldn't even exist. Forget it. And that's the ultimate proof that there is a God who made sure all of this worked. Because millions of things could have gone wrong, but they didn't. Well, it does make a little sense, because even the Bible says, let there be light. Yes. And it said there was light. It was right. Like a snap of a finger. So exactly. Like I can see and agree that. I mean, I think we can get in more depth with this, because there's some people that might be, I think it's more personal. They see things and tra tragedy thing happen in their life and something dramatic, and they're like, yeah, how many can God people, let this happen? Unfortunately, uh, when they examine the concepts of God, which we talked about previously, and they say, that concept does not fit science. I agree 100%. If you tell me God you know, was a man who lived 2,000 years ago, I wouldn't believe in such a God either. So, but Islam presents a concept of God unlike any other faith out there, and that is uh, consistent with science and consistent with our findings. And we need to, instead of rejecting the idea of God, we have to reject the interpretations, the human interpretation of what God is like, because those are false based on our limited knowledge. But this universe could not be in place. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a creator. I definitely appreciate it. Um, very much enlightening right here, right now. Uh, I appreciate your time My and in depth in this. Hopefully, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks again. Leave any comments or messages at the, at the end. Take care.